to show you how to do an RDL to fill it in your glutes and your hamstring. So a lot of people, when they're doing Romanian deadlifts, they're here and they're putting the bar down, about mid shin, to where you should be when they're standing straight up. That will work, but if you're going straight down, it's gonna be more of a back dominant movement. And if you wanna work your hamstrings and glutes, which is the point of this, you wanna think of hips, back. So first thing to go back is I'm trying to knock down that wall behind me. Okay, so I'm here bars as close to me as possible and I'm trying to knock the weight back out mid shin. Okay, I should be feeling some tension in my hamstrings and my glutes when I'm standing straight up. Okay, squeezing, okay, but I'm not overextending. Let me show you what that looks like. So we're gonna be here, tight, okay, picking it up off the floor, hips back. Most of all the way. Let me show you so the way to do it with slight kicking of the hips back. So I'm not kicking my hips back. And what a lot of people do is they load up the weight and they're using primarily their back in this moment. And that would look like this. As opposed to this. There's a slight difference. It's just that hinge in the hips. That's gonna make all the difference. You guys are having upper back problems or you feel like your back is working more when you're doing RDLs and your hamstrings and glutes. The reason more than likely why is you're leading with your back as opposed to leading with your hips. Think of somebody pulling your hips back with the cross screen. That's how you get to perform the RDL. Correct.